Back to every chest to channel. So this class we learn how to make this beautiful organza sleeve. It's a double puffer sleeve and it's very simple to make and beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so for this sleeve, I'm going to be making this as my foundation fabric. I'm going to serve as my lace fabric, and then I'm using this organza for the puffy part of the sleeve so i have my basic sleeve like this it's a long sleeve you can uh, you can use a a full sleeve like i am doing or you can just cut the cuff part of your sleeve but i want the organza to be neatly tucked in that's why i'm placing it on a foundation fabric fully like this so this is a long sleeve my long sleeve measurement is actually 22 inches so i added one inch extra from aiming and then sewing this to my bodies so this is what i have so now to measure where to place this organza the first one is going to be placed on my elbow so the elbow point that i'm going to be working with for this tutorial is going to be 10 inches so from the head of the sleeve i'm going to go down by half an inch for the allowance to sew it then i'm going to mark the 10 inches I hope you can see this then after marking my 10 inches I'm going to make it into a straight line like this and then for the second point from the 10 inches I'm just going to mark like 5 to 6 inches and that's the second point that I'm going to be placing this organizer okay so I have 10 inches marker and 6 inches Okay, so for the organza, for the first puff, I have 10 inches here. So I'm going to be adding extra 5 inches to that, which will make it 15 inches. So this is dependent on how puffy you want it to be. You can add 3 inches, 6 inches, whatever inches that you want so that it can be puffy. So I'm adding 5 to this and I have 15 inches. So for the lower part as well, I have about five and a half inches there. I'm sorry, the chalk is not feasible. So for to this five and a half inches now, I can just make it 10 inches as well by adding extra four and a half for that puffiness. So I'm going to be having 10 inches in length for the lower part and then 15 inches for the upper part. So adding that together, I'm going to have a length of 25 inches. So I've cut out my organza fabric and the length of this organza is 25 inches. Okay, so you can see I have 25 inches here and then the width. So for the width, you can just multiply your round arm or measurements by two or two and a half inches and then you use that to cut the width. So for me, the width that I have here on fold is about 20 inches. So by the time I open it out, it's going to be 40. So I have 25 inches by 40 inches and then I'll put it on fold. So to shape out this leaf, on the upper part here, I'm going to go down by about about six inches, okay, five to six inches on this side, on this open part here. Just like we shape our sleeve, I'm going to go down by six inches and then from there, I'm just going to connect it to the head of the sleeve and then cut. So I'm just using my free hand for this so you can see how I am just connecting this because my chalk is not showing on my organza fabric as well. So this is what I have, this is what the head of the sleeve is looking like. So now the next thing I'm going to do on the organza, now remember the first 15 inches is for the upper part of the sleeve. So I'm just going to open it out now and then I'm going to measure that 15 inches. Okay, so the 15 inches stops here. I'll measure it now and then I'm going to make it in form of a straight line. So the next 10 inches is for the lower part of the organza. So after measuring it, what I'm going to do now is to gather this part. Okay, I'm going to gather it to fit into the 10 inches mark that I have marked here. Okay, it's not feasible. This first 10 inches that I marked is about the 10 inches is about. 15 inches okay that straight line there is about 15 inches so i'm going to gather this first part to 15 inches okay and then this lower part as well i'm going to gather it to what i measured on the second one so here 
remember after measuring the 10 inches we measured another five and a half inches so on that five and a half inches mark i have about 12 inches so this lower part i'm going to gather it to the 12 inches as well and then i'm going to bring it back to show us what we have okay so i've gone ahead to gather it you can see how small it's looking now so this is not too full if you want us to be fuller you just need to increase your measurement so now to sew this i'm going to lay my foundation fabric down like this and then i'm going to sew the first one first that's the lowest part so i'm going to place my fabric like this then and then i'm going to sew it on this part so after sewing it down i'm going to flip it then the next one which is the 10 inches i'm going to sew it down as well before bringing it to show us how we're going to sew the end of the sleeve how to understand that so what i'm going to do now is the the lowest part i'm going to sew it to this part so you're not going to sew it like this because you don't want these rough edges to be showing so i'm just going to flip it arrange it well and then sew. so after sewing it i'm going to flip it over and then sew the next gathers that i have there i'm going to sew it down to the 10 inches mark and then i'm going to bring it back to show us how to sew the head of the sleeve okay so i have sewn this to my bodies and you can see that the way it is flipped the rough edges are tucked inside and then you have this extra puffiness here so if you want more you just need to add to your length okay just like i explained so now for the end of the sleeve the leftover that i have here and then after flipping it you can see that i sew down the elbow part as well so now here i'm going to pleat this to fit into the head of my sleeve so here i'm going to you just need to notch the middle part so that i can guide you then you're going to go ahead now and then pleat this round the head of the sleeve okay so i have pleated it round like this you can see and this is the extra five inches that i have it's not as full as i wants it to be so you just need to add to your measurements okay remember i just used 25 inches by 40 inches so you can use 25 inches by 60 inches if you have enough fabric or just working with the fabric that i have so now the next thing now the excess that you have here on the sides you just need to also gather it to fit into what you have so after gathering it to fit into the space that we have here i'm going to flip it and then sew it on the underarm area then after that you're going to aim or you can just aim the lower part before you flip it and sew so i just used a craft fabric for my foundation fabric so you should use like a lace fabric or whatever fabric you want to use as your foundation fabric and like i said this is an organza so it's a see-through fabric if you don't want your lace to be showing you can just add the add the the lace fabric only on the cuff area so that you will not have your lace showing like this and in that case you just need to sew down this part or you use and run an elastic here to gather it for you so i'll go ahead now and do this and then i'm going to flip it and sew the underarm then i'll take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so i have sewn it on the underarm the next thing now is to turn it out so after turning it out and i've hemmed it as well this is what it looks like okay so if you use small fabric you will see this place becoming really really big but this is the fabric i use and then you can also use an organic fabric it's thicker than organza and it's not going to be so transparent like an organza fabric so and that's going to give you this puffiness that you have as well so you can use that fabric or you can just use organza just like i used here so i'll take this to the mannequin now so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what the sleeve looks like you can see what 40 inches gave for so if you want yours to be fuller you just need to increase it so you can use up to 60 inches so that you have something very voluminous i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye